Hey, everybody, it's Scoots. Uh, post your questions on this post, um, or if you want to see all our question corner videos uh, in one place and post your question there, it's at uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash QQ. It'll take you right to everything. This is a quick one. How did you, this is from Charlotte, uh, how did you discover Koa likes broccoli? My dog Koa loves broccoli. She loves carrots, kale, cruciferous crunch. I mean, literally, I don't mean she just eats broccoli. Like, she considers broccoli. I mean, I don't think she would choose. I don't know what she would choose. I've never done a test with broccoli treats and carrots to see which of the three. Somebody could remind me to do that. Um, but uh, I don't know. I was thinking of that when I looked at the question. I said, and this is my guess. Uh, there's been different periods where I've tried to eat more and more broccoli. You know, my broccoli consumption goes up and down. Um, it should never go down, really. But um because it's so easy to prepare and my dog likes it now. Um, but I think probably I just dropped the broccoli on the floor and she went after it. And I was like, and she ate it up. And then I was like, did you just eat broccoli? Like really fast? Like it was, and then I probably was like, did, did, did you like that? I mean, I think that's got to be what happened. Uh, so I was cooking broccoli or probably straining the broccoli and cooling it. Because I would have been tossing it in the colander. I still have the same colander from when my last place, when I was totally 100% broke, that I bought at a 99 cent store, the handle broke off, but I just hold it in my hand. And um, it's like a wire mesh colander with a plastic rim. And I still use that. Though I have another colander I bought at T or, uh, not TJ Maxx, Ikea. Maybe I said TJ. Anyway, but yeah, so it probably fell out of there. She ate it. And I was like, are you kidding me? You like broccoli? And then fed it to her. And then probably the same with carrots. Uh, and then, then some, at some point it was like cruciferous crunch and I can mix that in with their food, um, as like a little bit extra, like obviously it's good for her and she doesn't really get broccoli gas. Um, I mean, I guess if I gave her raw uncooked broccoli, like more than a couple stalks, it might, but for the most part, she doesn't even get broccoli gas, right, Kyle? And also went to the, the vet. this may be a little stressful for anybody but it was a good we have, went to the vet today um and um go ahead her senior appointment um they haven't called me yet um but uh checking her uh things but uh everything else looked good she'd have to get um she got her, her allergy shot um and then she had, had to get her ears she's having some ear issues probably related to the allergies they said but i said well can we just make sure and they, they always say <laughs> like she, she gets a little extra calming stuff before we go there um but they always are like uh she loves the cheese they put a uh, cheese it's on the treats i think um so they're like, is it okay if we give her a lot of cheese? I'm like, yeah. She's like, and then they come back. She's like, she had strong feelings about that. Uh, and I was like, yeah. So, um, but now she's resting, sleeping like a baby. So, uh, yeah, thanks for the question. And make sure to post your questions. I love answering them. Thanks, Charlotte. And thanks, everybody who supports the show, supports the sponsors, or spreads the word about the podcast or asks questions. I really appreciate it. Thanks.